Eliza. Well, Eliza, you've had a bit of your own back now, as you call it. You had enough? Are you going to be reasonable, or do you want some more? You want me back only to put up with your tempers and pick up your slippers and fetch and carry for you. I haven't said I wanted you back at all. Oh, indeed. Then what are we talking about? About you, not about me. If you come back to me, I shall treat you just the same as I've always treated you. I can't change my nature, and I don't intend to change my manners. My manners are exactly the same as Colonel Pickering. That's not true. He treats a flower girl as if she were a duchess. I treat a duchess as if she were a flower girl. I see the same to everyone. Oh, I don't care how you treat me. I don't mind your swearing at me. I don't mind a black eye. I've had one before this. But... I won't be passed over. Then get out of my way, for I won't stop for you. You talk to me as if I were a bus. So you are a bus. All bounce and go and no consideration for anyone. Once for all, understand that I go my way and do my work without caring tuppence what happens to either of us. So you can come back or go to the devil, whichever you please. And what am I to come back for? For the fun of it. That's what I took you on for. And you can throw me out tomorrow if I don't do everything you want me to. And you can walk out tomorrow if I don't do everything you want me to. And live with my stepmother. Yes, or sell flowers. Or would you rather marry Pickering? I wouldn't marry you if you asked me. And you're nearer my age than what he is. Than he is. I'll speak as I like. You're not my teacher now. I don't know the Pickering would, though. He's as confirmed an old bachelor as I am. That's not what I want, and don't you think it? I've always had chaps enough wanting me that way. Freddie Hill writes to me. Twice and three times a day. Sheets and sheets. Blast his impudence. He has a right to if he likes poor lad. And he does love me. You have no right to encourage him. Every girl has a right to be loved. Well, by fools like that? Freddie's not a fool. Oh. If he's weak and poor and wants me, maybe he'd make me happier than my betters who bully me and don't want me. I can do without you. Don't think I can't. Never asked, I suppose, whether I could do without you. You'll have to do without me. I can do without anybody. I have my own soul, my own spark of divine fire. But uh, I shall miss you, Eliza. I confess that humbly and gratefully. I've become accustomed to your voice and appearance. I even like them, rather. Well, you have them both on your gramophone and in your book of photographs. When you feel lonely, you can turn the machine on. It's got no feeling as to hurt. I can't turn your soul on. Oh, you're a devil. You can twist the heart in a girl as easily as some can twist her arms to hurt her. I want a little kindness. I, I know I'm only a common ignorant girl, but I'm not dirt under your feet. What I done, I... What I did. It, it wasn't for the dresses and for the taxes. It was because we were pleasant together and because I come... I came to care for you, not, not forgetting the difference between us and not wanting you to make love to me, but... More friendly, like. Of course, Eliza. That's exactly how I feel. And how Pickering feels. Eliza, you're a fool. That's not a proper answer to give me. If you can't stand the coldness of my sort of life and the strain of it, go back to the gutter. Oh, it's a fine life, the life of the gutter. It's real, it's warm, it's violent. Not like science, and literature, and classical music and philosophy and art. You find me cold, unfeeling, selfish, don't you? Very well, then marry some sentimental hog or other with a thick pair of lips to kiss you with and a thick pair of boots to kick you with. If you can't appreciate what you've got, you better get what you can appreciate. I won't care for anyone who doesn't care for me. Oh, Eliza, you're an idiot. I waste the treasures of my Miltonic mind by spreading them before you. Oh, I can't talk to you. You turn everything against me. You know very well that I can't go back to the gutter, as you call it, and that I've no real friends in the world but you and the Colonel. 
You think I must go back to Wimpole Street because I've nowhere to go but father's. But don't you be too sure that you have me under your feet to be bullied and talked down. I'll marry Freddie, I will, as soon as I'm able to support him. What, that young fool? You shall marry an ambassador. You shall marry the Viceroy of India. I won't have my masterpiece thrown away on Freddie. You think I like you to say that? But I haven't forgotten what you said a minute ago. If I can't have kindness, I'll have independence. Independence, that's middle class blasphemy. We're all of us dependent one on another, every soul on earth. I'll let you see whether I'm dependent on you. If you can preach, I can teach. I'll go and be a teacher. <laughs> What'll you teach in heaven's name? What you taught me. I'll teach phonetics. I'll offer myself as an assistant to Professor Carpati. What, that humbug? That imposter? That toadying ignoramus? You take one step in his direction, I'll wring your neck, you hear? Wring away! What do I care? I knew you'd strike me one day. Oh. Now I know how to deal with you. Oh, what a fool I was not to think of it before. Ha. That's done you, Henry Iggins, it has, and I don't give that for your bullying and your fine talk. When I think of myself crawling under your feet, and being trampled on and talked down, when all the time I'd only to lift my finger to be as good as you are. Oh, I could just kick myself. By George, Eliza, I said I'd make a woman of you, and I have. I like you like this. Yes, you make up to me now that I'm not afraid of you, and I can do without you. Of course I do, you little fool. Five minutes ago, you were a millstone round my neck. Now you're a tower of strength, a consort battleship. Goodbye, Professor Higgins. I shall make a duchess of this draggletail gutter snap. Oh. In six months, in three years. I washed my face and hands before I came. I did. Where the devil are my slippers, Eliza? 